Hello everyone, we are here for Pittman's 5 minute speed test, literary at 160 words, section number 1, and it is a president's address. Ready? Let's write. A year ago, it was my very pleasant duty to congratulate the members of our union on the great progress made during the previous year and to express the hope that in succeeding years will be no less satisfactory from all points of view. It is therefore not without a degree of price that at this conference I again have the pleasure of calling attention to our continued growth and to our increasing influence over the conditions of employment of the clerical workers of this country. Our membership is larger by several thousands than a year ago, and although considering the large field we have on which to work, progress may seem slow. Closer acquaintance with the life and conditions of the average clerk shows that this view is quite a superficial one and that our growth during the past three or four years is almost phenomenal. But satisfactory growth is not all we have to report. We can point to gratifying successes in our struggles on behalf of our members in the industrial field, whether in the law courts against unscrupulous employers or in the more satisfactory way of agitation and negotiation experience teaches us that only by organized endeavor can, on, can any material advantage be obtained by the working class. We have obtained large increases in salary and material reductions in the number of hours worked by various members in various parts of the country. As is quite natural, our appetite grows by what it feeds on, and but for the fact that our inadequate finances necessarily have a crippling effect on our activity, we should be able to show a much better record than is as present possible. No movement is worth much which cannot command the wholehearted sim hearted sympathy and devotion and self-sacrifice of its adherents and what has been done by other sections of the working class movement ought surely to be emulated if not improved upon by the clerical profession. It was but yesterday that the clerk was looked upon as hopeless in the trade union world, partly because of that his work in the office by its very nature had contributed to his divorcement from the craftsmen in the workshop. Only since the rise of big industrial concerns and the consequent mismassing of large numbers of clerks to carry on the clerical side of such businesses can the profession be said to have become less remunerative to those who have entered it.